Namaskaram, my name is Sharat Valsaraj, uh, General Manager of Zuri Kamarakam Kerala Resort and Spa. A brief overview on the tourism sector in the midst of our global pandemic, COVID-19. Uh, just like any other sector, the tourism sector also is in a pause mode uh, with uh, businesses uh, completely wiped out, both in uh, leisure destination as well as uh, city hotels which are primarily aimed at the business customers or business clientele. Now, what is the outlook for the future? Uh, till, till a vaccine is found, tested clinically, uh, there's no scope for the business to open up, especially with uh, airlines uh, not flying in. Then, then primarily, I think the sector has to focus uh, at domestic tourist completely. Now, when you look at uh, leisure destination, uh, uh, what are the segments that uh, contribute to the business? You have the free individual travelers, uh, which contributes around 12% of the business. Then you have the online channels, which is primarily your booking.com, the Make My Trips, uh, the Agodas, and other booking channels, which contributes around 18% of the business. Then uh, you have the consolidators, basically the tour operators who plan the tours for the clients. It need not be just one destination, it could be multiple destinations. They contribute a major chunk of the business for the leisure destination properties, close to around 40%. So put together, we have around 70% of the business with these three segments contributing. Then one major segment which, which is badly hit are the corporate travelers, especially the of my segment, which is meetings, incentives, conferences, and events which happen in off-site locations. Now, that contributes around 25% of the business. Now, that is badly hit with corporate uh, travelers or corporates curtailing in terms of uh, travel plans to off-site destinations. Now, that would have been a major chunk in terms of uh, cash flow for these properties and also the destination weddings, especially NRI weddings to destinations in Rajasthan, Kerala, or exponential experiences which are offered in these destinations, that is completely wiped out. A lot of cancellations uh, which has happened, pre-booked by wedding clients from uh, uh, Europe and US, NRIs primarily, uh, they, have, they have canceled uh, all their plans to have their functions in these destinations. Then uh, we have the inbound uh, group tours, which contributes around 5% uh, of the business. Uh, these are series business which happen, uh, which fly in from Middle East, which fly in from Europe, US, Canada, uh, Asia Pacific, uh, which is, which is uh, booked one year in advance. Now these are put on hold for the moment. If, if uh, airlines uh, resume operations, most probably these groups might materialize and maybe uh, contribute to a business flow to these destination properties. Finally, the packages which are offered by the property itself. Now that's completely gone because no hotel or reservations or sales office are existing because they all shut down. Primarily now, since city 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 is completely hit, Delhi, especially the feeder markets like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, uh, there's no scope for these uh, businesses to come from these feeder cities. So outlook is bleak, and uh, with this pandemic, uh, with the numbers uh, growing, and unless and until there's a vaccine which which is tested. It seems to be uh, that, that we're looking at a, a window of almost a year to 18 months before tourism picks up in any of the destinations. Now, what does the future hold? We'll have to reinvent. Uh, as I said earlier, we have paused now in terms of the business. Now we need to reinvent and awaken ourselves to a new normal in terms of how do we operate. New standard operating procedures need to be put in place. Uh, so social distancing is of course a word which is used uh, in general. You know, we'll have to plan our uh, processes accordingly so that any customer who steps into the property uh, understands how safe they are uh, once they enter the property. In terms of food and beverage operations, we need to rework, relook in terms of uh, 
how do we create space so that no two tables are close uh, because uh, earlier it used to be a different format, a different setup which used to be in all these food and beverage outlets. So that needs to be relooked. Uh, in terms of wellness, in terms of spa facilities, what would be the norm, what would be the standard operating procedure. These things will have to be chalked out in a detailed manner before any of uh, these properties are open for business. So let's hope for the best and uh, wish uh, slowly business picks up and we are back on the feet since all the more since Kerala has been hit from 2018 with natural calamities and uh, it's really affected our cash flows and uh, let's let's uh, generally hope that 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 things uh, get back to normal signing off thank you <laughs>